Mark, congratulations first of all on a, a really good performance tonight. Yeah, thanks very much, Kevin. Um, the lads have played some really good stuff tonight. They've got the ball down, knocked it about nicely and uh, thoroughly deserved the win. Uh, we were saying as we were walking over the pitch there, the, the opposition like to put a few tackles in, but your, your lads really sort of rode that well and like to say got it down and played. I think the important thing is that they stick to the basics. They don't get drawn into a battle. Uh, and they didn't do that today even though they went 1-0 down you know they still tried to do the right things right areas and finally we got the the goals that we deserved in the victory mm. and not just the result tonight which is obviously you know a really good one it dresses you into the final but results wise I know it's not everything but you've had a really good season this year haven't you we've done very well and, and bearing in mind when we started at the end of last season there was only maybe half a dozen lads left from the under 18s last year um, the first years have come in and moulded very well with those uh, second years that were left and we've even now got a couple of under 16s playing with us and they're all a good set of lads and they all want to listen they all want to learn and they want to do the right things and it's all good for the club well, not just results but you've had a few lads in and around the fringes of the first team and uh, I think the uh, last game of the season against Bursko mm -hmm. you had a few even in the uh, starting level well, that's right I think um, Adam Cox, Davy Mitchell, they've been in and around the first team and got good minutes before, but um, Tom Young's gone in there, Aidan O'Connor's played, Matty Lovegreen's been involved, you know, which is great. I mean, those those last three, they're still first years, you know, so they're still with us next year. So they'll only come on and they'll only improve, and hopefully they'll, they'll have a few more pushing next year to try to get the first team game as well. And it helps you when you're trying to attract uh, new youngsters to the setup because you, you can say, well, look, if you you know, you get your head down and work, you've got a chance to be in the first team. Well, it is. It's the first thing that we say, you know, if you want any evidence, any proof, just have a look at the programme for the game. And you've got five of our lads mentioned on the programme straight away. And that's great. And fair play to Martin Gray, you know, he's not frightened to throw them in there. He knows what they can do. You know, and people say, well, it was a nothing game. It might have been, but, you know, he didn't want to go in there and, and get absolutely murdered. The lads have gone in there and done a good job for him. Well, I was going to say, watching that last game, the, the lads didn't look out the place who did feature. No, and you know Martin works with a lot of them during the, the day as well. He knows what they can do and he, he coaches them and him and Brian and everything. And then on a Wednesday night when we're at training, they get involved with the first team. And the first team lads are great with them as well. You know, they help bring them on. I've seen tweets and text today you know where the first team lads have wished the, the lads all the best today and that's great and that's a good camaraderie and that runs right throughout the club it's great well, once again mate, congratulations on making the final and uh, fingers crossed for when it doesn't roll round I think it's, you've actually got another cup final as well haven't you Coming we've, we've got a semi-final on Monday semi night another yeah. semi-final on Monday night and then hopefully fingers crossed two cup finals we'll, we'll change the team round a little bit for the next semi-final give everybody a go and fingers crossed two cup finals